everyone! Happy Halloween! It's me, Claudia, from Cloud Dolls. This time, I'm gonna make a collaboration, an Halloween collaboration. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. I already made a fairy. The red fairy. She's beautiful, I know. But, yeah. Mm. No, I don't think so. Should I make a pumpkin? Nah. Should I make a ghost? No, I don't think so. <sighs> I really don't know what to do. I have to think about it. Really? I want to do something cute, you know, something fluffy. Because Halloween doesn't have to be scary. I know. I got an idea. Why not? I love Pokemons. So, I'm gonna do an Halloween Pikachu. That's right. Okay. Doll. Material um, Check I'm gonna start it Factory paint out This is already scary uh, <laughs> Head out. Checked. Put the recycling bag. You never know. You want more scary than this? Oh. Yeah. Hair time. After five hours of plugging, it's time for glue, for some glue. I'm gonna use tacky glue and then uh, let it dry for the night. Oh my god, oh my god, are you seeing this? It's coming glue out of her ears. <laughs> That's a really creepy repainting. I'm gonna use these colors uh, to make uh, the dress for uh, the Pikachu. I'm gonna make her uh, a dress, an Halloween dress. I'm gonna use this yellow satin and I'm gonna use this top from a Monster High from another dress. I believe in a recycle, so why not? If you have an, a, a dream doll or a wish, uh, commissions are open. You can always send me a message of uh, an email and I'll be very happy uh, to do it.
I'm going to use this Velcro to make a, a, a fixture, a pic Pikachu fixture for her skirt. If you don't know, Pikachu is a character figure that belongs to the universe Pokemon. His name means the sound of an electric mouse in Japanese. Pika represents the sound made by the electric shock. In the meanwhile, true, it means the noise that the mouse do. That's why Pika Shoe. Pika Shoe is really a kind of a electric mouse. He's capable of sending electric charge to his enemies when he feels there is threat. I'm gonna use foam, yellow foam, to make the tail and the ears and for that I'm gonna use also my wired 1.2 millimeters and but first I'm gonna sketch it and cut it. I have to make some food for her, so I'm gonna use uh, the rest of the of her hair, and you have to cut it really, really, really small pieces like this. let it dry for the night and now with a toothbrush that you just use for this <laughs> not to clean your tooth uh, I'm gonna brush it uh, the excess and uh, if you need it you give you do it again Well, hello there. This is actually the daughter of Claudia. Um, I asked her if I could make like the little accessories. Of, sorry, of the of the little Pikachu, of the cosplay Pikachu. So, at first, I'm gonna make the spiders. I cut a little piece of wire right here, 
that I can make into the legs. And yeah, you will need six legs. You can add more if you want, but I think six legs would look cute. And you will also need hot glue. I'm just gonna bend the legs like this. See? Well, it's blurry, but you can see. <laughs> And I'm gonna do this to each and every one of the legs. Now that I got all of my legs, I'm gonna make the second hot glue block, which is going to be the body. Are you guys gonna celebrate Halloween, huh? I'm probably just gonna put a costume on on school grounds with a couple of friends. We're not that. My family is not that much of a Halloween person. <laughs> Look at this difference. Cute. Blow. <laughs> well, anyway, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make the pumpkins. With air dry clay. It may be a little bit of wire. So basically, hold on, I need to zoom this out a little bit. So basically, I'm gonna grab a little chunk of clay. <laughs> I forgot the name, air dry clay. And for people that say, but, my, but your mom says hair dry clay, does it have to do with hair? And no, she just needs to learn more English. I'm just gonna make the little grooves in the pumpkin. And then I'm kinda gonna carve out the little face. Well, not really carve out, but more like make an indent on where I'm gonna draw the face with paint. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna paint some uh, spiders and pumpkins that my daughter made for me. They're so cute. So, I'm gonna use my black panduro krill, Bobby, and my orange, and my metallic uh, dark purple. The hair is almost ready. Now I'm gonna protect him and I'm gonna give her four layers of Mr. Super Clear and we're going to start with her uh, Pikachu cute face. Let's go. You can find the list of my material in the description box below. Face time! I'm gonna start with my uh, pastels. Rembrandt pastels. And I want to first, I want to give her a little bit of uh, yellow skin. So. This collaboration was hosted by Wolfine5. Uh, I posted all the name of the artists that contribute with the amazing dolls for this collaboration in my description box. Go and check it out, they are amazing uh, works there. Thanks!
After giving a, another layer of Mr. Super Clear, I'm gonna continue uh, with her face, giving more pigment, more color. This is the third layer of Mr. Super Clear, and I will continue to give her more pigments. I give it the last layer of Mr. Super Clear and now I'm gonna uh, use my white acryl for the highlights and I'm gonna gloss the eyes and the lips. I made her a yellow tool sleeves that I attached, that I uh, sew it to the body and then I finish in the poles with a yellow ribbon with a streak from a, a Pikachu. I'm gonna attach the headpiece with a with a pin, so that's uh, safer and is 
It doesn't go anywhere. And you don't see him. He's really small. You can not even see him. Oh, she looks so cute. I have to make a hole for the tail now. And um, moving slowly. I'm flying for her shoes. I chose these ones. I think they're really cool. They have uh, moons, and uh, I think I, I can. It's a ball, a crystal ball, and chains. I think it's really cool for the Halloween. I'm gonna paint them in uh, in black. And then I, I'm gonna give him uh, the tails in um, in the colors of the dress: purple, yellow, orange. I will see it. And with this, our Pikachu Halloween is ready. I hope you like it. You can find my dolls on my Etsy shop and all of the other things that I made by hand and my merchandise you can find it by Society6. All of the links they are in the description box in my link tree. Thanks for watching! I'll see you next time. In the meanwhile, I'm still with my dolls. Bye! Should I meet a ghost?